Hey friends, welcome back to another video. So in this video, what we are going to take a look at how you can install latest Linux Mint 21 on Parallels desktop. Uh, and this video, I am uh, I am doing this on Intel Mac. So if you are using ARM, you need to download the ARM uh, version of the ISO. So let me uh, show you how you can download. Uh, Linux Mint and what you need to do is just go open up your browser and search for Linux Mint and you will get this result and over here just go to downloads and over here you can see all the different version uh, over here uh, that you can download so select any desktop environment that you want to get the Linux Mint uh, ISO in and I'm going to be downloading Cinnamon Edition and I have already downloaded the ISO so what you need to do is click on download and over here you can select uh, any method you want to uh, download this file in so you can download this as a torrent file and just click on that and it will automatically start downloading or you can just um, uh, do a direct download from over here so I have already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do that again. So after the uh, after you have downloaded the image, and just open up your uh, Parallels desktop in the control center, and over here you will see this plus icon. Uh, it is for creating a new virtual machine. Just click on that, and over here we need uh, as we already have the ISO, uh, we will select the second option and click on continue, and. Uh, the parallels uh, installation assistant will automatically detect any iso files that are already present on your system but if it does not uh, find that iso you can click on choose manually and drag and drop the file over here and i have my file in download so i am going to do that and it automatically automatically detects which linux distro it is and just click on continue and uh, write the name for the VM that you uh, you want to create. So I am going to do Mint 21, and this is the uh, folder it will be storing this VM in. I don't want to create a desktop alias, and I want to customize settings before the installation. And click on Create, and after the creation has been done, it will ask you for any customization that you want to do. Uh, just go to options and over here I want to change some uh, some of the RAM settings so I want to give this 3 GB of RAM and two cores are good enough for me and just close this and it will uh, save the settings and click on continue and it will start uh, the installation process so uh, it is giving me some mac os privacy issue and i'm just going to click on ok and once this uh, grub bootloader is loaded you can either start linux mint in compatibility mode or you can start in a normal uh, mode as well and i'm just going to select the normal 64-bit uh, uh, mode and click uh, hit enter and it is going to uh, boot up the VM now this might take a moment depending on what what specs you assign to your VM and you will be created with this new um, mouse logo that has been added to Linux Mint and as you can see everything is working it has detected our network and we can uh, start the installation process so once you are logged into your desktop environment uh, you will see this install Linux Mint uh, disk image uh, just double click on that and it will uh, open up the installation uh, dialog box where we can start configuring our installation So the first thing that you need to do is select the language. I am going to be selecting English and my keyboard layout is also English US 
and click continue if you have another keyboard layout you can select uh, it from there i don't uh, if you want to install any media codecs like uh, if you want to uh, play videos or media in your vm or if you are doing this installation on your system uh, do select install media codecs so it will uh, be helpful in playing your media that is already present on your system i am not going to do that and click on continue and i am going to select the first option erase the disk and install linux mint or you can mm, select something else and you will have to manually uh, create all the partitions so for now i am going to select this uh, this first option erase disk and install linux mint and click on install now this is going to be, uh, start the installation process and it is uh, telling us that uh, these following partitions were created by the installer so i'm going to click on continue to accept those changes and over here you can select the time zone that you are in i am in pakistan so i am going to select Isla uh, islamabad pakistan if it is showing over here and click on continue and over here you will uh, be asked to create your account so I am going to create an account for me and computer name is also going to be the username and this is the super secure password so make sure if you are installing this on your main system uh, you create a strong password and click on continue and now it is going to start copying all the necessary files that are required for the installation of Linux Mint and uh, it will take uh, a couple of minutes depending on your system and we will be back once this process has been done. So we are back and the installation process has completed so um, we can just click on restart now and it will take us to the login screen of our installation and just wait for the restart and it is going to uh, give you a message that installation uh, please remove the installation media so as it is a VM you can just go ahead and press enter and this is going to restart uh, the VM and we are going to be logged into our main uh, v uh, Linux main 21 install where we can log in using our username and password that we previously created so over here as you can see this is a quite uh, a revamp that they did for the new Linux main 21 just enter your password and you will be logged in to the new cinnamon desktop environment and uh, in the in linux mint 20, 21 version they have changed qu uh, quite a lot of things like you can see the accents color accents that are now present in the new ui uh, previously it, uh, these accents were green and now uh, they are changed to blue and the same uh, color schemes goes uh, into the uh, finder or the file manager over here and you can uh, start using your fresh Linux Mint installation uh, now and thanks for watching if you have any questions or any, if you encounter any problem uh, while installation do comment down below we will be happy to help and thanks for watching and do subscribe and like this video uh, subscribe to our channel and like this video that really helps our channel grow and uh, also it will help anyone who is looking for uh, uh, this tutorial on how they can install Linux Mint and start testing it in our VM and virtual environment and thanks for watching